Namaste, welcome back to the channel. So the All India Institute of Ayurveda, New Delhi has announced the admission notification for PhD scholars who want to perceive for the from the academic year 23 and 24. So in this video, we are going to see the detailed explanation of all the rules and regulations, including where to apply, how to apply, what is the fee structure, that is the admission fee structure, entrance examinations, and also at the end we will all we'll be seeing the updated stipend of this PhD scholars. So if any of your friend is looking out for this information, kindly let them know this and watch this video till the end. So we have covered so many videos in relation to these uh, national institutes regarding various courses. So this is regarding the PhD admission notification 23-24 batch. So this is the deadline of certain we can say tasks that is already the registration has been opened through an online link since the 6th of this month and it will go on up to 27th. So there is sufficient time up to 27th you have the time to fill the application. Then the ultimate registered candidates list will be put up in the website on 3rd of March, two days just before the entrance examination. So after the entrance examination on March 5th, you will be given the answer key and you will have only one day time to apply for any grievances. And ultimately the result will be uploaded on the website and then interview will be called tentatively. That is the 10th of March and then results, ultimate results, then the coursework will be started. So this is in relation to the time frame for this particular process. Now we will be going ahead with other information, the detailed information. The procedure will begin with the application form, then screening test followed by interview, followed by the result and then the admission. So the application form is through online mode only. There is no offline mode here. There is only online mode. You have to apply for this examination through the provided link here. So you can see the link. So initially you have to register and then you have to apply as per the website guidance. So now we will be seeing exactly how this online application looks like and how to fill in brief. So the form looks like this, the initial page. Once you click on the link, initially you have to register. Initially you have to register, you can see that for the new student. Once you press the new student, you have to give your information, personal information. So I'm just filling some done dummy numbers. Anyway, I'm not going to apply it just for the sake of information to be given to others. I'm just rand randomly marking certain of this information. Once you fill the information, this is prior to the uh, registration process. And then you get the actual registration number and password. Keep that in mind. It will be given in your website as well, in the email ID as well. Then you have to go to login. So initially register. So you will automatically get a user ID password which is auto generated then you'll be logging that information in the login section so then you'll be getting the home page or you can see the application actual application so you can see there are six ways here I mean six steps first some detail qualification detail program applying for upload documents fee payment and status of applied form so self-explanatory certain star astray marks you can see which means they are compulsory information so you need to fill them compulsorily first part is clear now the personal details then we'll be going on to the second part the qualification detail qualification refers to your post graduation so as per your required or you can say the required information in the screen you can fill it by seeing the question paper i mean the uh, last year's or you can say final year's marks card if you don't have any examination, like if you didn't have any examination in the past, then you can fill zero. Then in the third section, program applying for which department clearly mentioned that. So after that, the upload document section. So especially in the third screen. So you can see that 3000 rupees I got because I marked done reserved here. So this is the fourth page, documents. Please upload photo, signature and the original document that is scanned copy. So these are the 
documents which you can upload here after this you'll be giving next then you'll be the then you'll be paying the fee as per the prescribed you can say limit and then the application will be finalized so this is a simple online form of course certain times you may get error as you can see the red error so certain times you get it so if you get error just reapply you can see the status of the application after full payment it will be completed so this is how you fill the form so after filling the application form you will be asked to like pay the fee so this is the fee limit SCST and disability, disability or you can say PWD that is 2500 and all other categories it is 3000 next this is the seat matrix so each department is having four seats out of which three are considered to be stipendary and one is considered to be non stipendary now the stipendary seats are the ones which students are looking for or the scholars would like to join non stipendary is for the faculty of foreign institute of Ayurveda and Tibia college which are coming under the deemed university and if any uh, other allied branch person wants to enter PhD like you know that there is MD and MS Ayurveda so they are considered under stipendary seats if there are any other candidates who are from allied branches then they, are, they will be given admission in non stipendary as mentioned in the note below eligibility criteria MD or MS in Ayurveda and others as I told allied branches you can see in the lower part certain courses are available in Jamnagar and certain other premium institutes of course, very less people apply for PhD from these backgrounds. Now, entrance test, coming to the details of that, there will be 70 MCQs, out of which 30 will be from your concerned subject. For example, if you are from a department of, you can say, uh, Dravyaguna, you will be having 30 questions from Dravyaguna. If you are from Shelley, you will have 30 questions from Shelley. So, that is your subject specific. The rest 40 will be uh, the research methodology and medical statistics plus the general knowledge in relation to Ayurveda. So I assume that 30 will be the research and stats and maybe 10 will be kept for general knowledge or it could be 35 as well. So that is 30 will be research in my opinion. So if you mark any answer negative uh, wrongly, you will be getting negative marking here 0.25. No answer means there is no negative marking. So interview will consist of 30 marks which will total your performance out of 100. So 70 in theory and 30 in the interview. So the examination will be held only in the foreign institute of Ayurveda, New Delhi. And if the candidate is from a foreign nationality or if there is any other way of entering this course like maybe clearing the uh, JRF net examination, IF net examination. So uh, such candidates will not be having any examination, entrance exam. Of course, right now not many people are having such degree. Uh, I can say the eligibility. The duration of PhD will be three years. Now, the most important part, I think all of you might have visited this video for this purpose. This stipend, updated stipend, of course, we have seen the detailed video of the stipends in national institutes in the last year. And uh, today we are seeing the updated information. Updated means what is the exact amount now? That is from January to July, six months course, I mean duration. So, the basic structure of a PhD stipend is, first, second, third year, it is 50,315. Second and third are having the same numbers that is basic that is 51,990 almost touching 52 now a stipend of PhD scholar consists of basic plus the dearness allowance so since the institute is coming under the central government so the central DA will be applied here so dearness allowance as of now is that is going to be updated from January is 42% of the basic it was 38 earlier now it is going to be 42% of the basic so 42% of your basic means calculate each of them First year 5315. Calculate 42% of that, you get 21132. Calculate for 51990, you get 42%, that is 21835. So when you add them, you are going to get the total stipend, that is the basic and DA together, uh, around 71 and a half in the first year, around touching 74 in the second and third year. So this is the exact stipend which a student of PhD or scholar of PhD is going to get in, or in the Institute of Ayurveda, New Delhi. But one more information is since the hostel is not available in the New Delhi Institute, that is already Institute, the consolidated 9000 HRA like payment is also done to these scholars. So since there is no hostel facility or there is no, you can say stay facility for the scholars, for, only for that purpose, 9000 has been kept as a, you can say common number for all the PG and PhDs working in or you can say studying in the New Delhi or any Institute of Ayurveda. So because of that, the entire stipend will be 
added with this 9000. So first PhD scholar, already we calculated earlier, basic plus DA, now add 9000 to that, you get around 80 and half now. Second and third, add 9000, you get around 83 and half. I mean sorry, eight, around roughly touching 83. So this is how the total stipend of a PhD scholar as of now in all India state of higher weather, New Delhi from January to July, of course from June, from July there will be again a revision of TV and DA which will again revise the DA amount, ultimately the total will change. So this is how you calculate the stipend of a PhD scholar. Uh, for any other related information that you can uh, visit the channel, multiple playlists are there for your convenience, you can go through them. If you require uh, any specific point to be discussed, you can put that in the comment box. So very soon we will be taking up those topics. So. Until next time, thank you.